Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be unboxing month three with Hypnotic Yarns Yarnable subscription box. So, if I'm a little distracted, please forgive me. I'm pretty hungry. I'm filming this before lunchtime, after I've done my workout and everything, so I wanted to kind of plow through getting work done real quick and share it with you guys as much as possible so I can eat lunch, get this skeined up, and start working on stuff. So, uh, as with all of my subscription box reviews, in no way, shape, or form is this sponsored content. I have paid for this 100% out of my own pocket. So, just want to get that, you know, out in the open straight away. We, we uh, Every month I seem to have somebody comment about... Uh, free plugs and stuff like that. No, guys, <laughs> if I don't disclose it, I paid for it. So 100% out of pocket on this. I am, however, extremely happy with this subscription box. So, <laughs> so far it's been really good for me. All right. What did we get last month? Last month we got, what's in my little pouch here? We've got this things to do before I commit pad, which is super cute. Like I said, when you buy these at the LYS or, you know, online yarn stores and stuff like that, they tend to be way more expensive than like the little notepads you can get at the like dollar store or Michael's in the dollar spot, Target dollar spot. I got uh, in my little scratch off code here, I got a $5 towards the patterns, I think it was. We got... A little rocket pop stitch marker, which is super duper cute. And it was fun to hear like your guys' comments back from Canada saying you have rocket pops and remember them from childhood and love them too. We get a little sticker. And we got the yarn. This one was called Summer Vibes. And it was this beautiful blue yarn. And we've got beautiful variegation in there. It, there's some spots. There's some bright spots. There's, please do not follow my coffee. I will be very upset. So the pattern I chose to do with this is by Hohi Locatelli. This is the hipster. I think it's, this is the lightweight hipster is what it's called. I will have a link in the description box down below. Also, it will be in uh, show and tell 116 when that comes up. I'm not sure in what order these are going to be coming up. But once again, this yarn was too beautiful to turn into socks. I really wanted something to go around my face. This is a color that I wear a lot. It coordinates to a lot of things that I wear. So this was definitely not going to be socks. This had to be something to show off. And I would like to thank Heather over at Heather's Knits and Crochets for the suggestion of the pattern of this. I absolutely love it. Yes, this was the perfect pattern for this yarn. Now, the lace sections, because the variegation, do not show up very well in between the cross stitches here, but the cross stitches beautifully show off some of the tonal variegation and irregularities within this hand dye yarn. So, it was definitely the right choice, and I will definitely be making more of this pattern now that I own it. So, I am pretty excited about how July turned out. Mm. Sorry, we're still on coffee this morning. Still need the caffeine. All right, so our total retail value, my estimated value for what you can buy a lot of hand dyed yarns for and stitch markers and such are, it was $34.00. However, when you go into Hypnotic Yarns and the retailer of the, or maker of the Rocket Pop stitch markers, the actual retail ended up being $47. So we did have, we're having this odd price adjustment right now, especially in the U.S. We're finally catching up to the inflationary cost and the extra cost of doing business for a small independent crafter. And uh, prices have gone up on a lot of things. We're, we're you're catching up on the, the, the 2020 stuff. So I paid $32.99 for my subscription box. On site, I saved 30%. It was only 3% based on my estimated retail value. But like I said, that it really is 
just a bare bones at a glance estimate for what you could go out and purchase these things individually for from other retailers. But from these retailers, it did end up being retail value of $47. So not a bad discount. I really, even on the full retail value, didn't expect the subscription box to offer that kind of a discount for the risk you take when you do a mystery subscription box. Now this is a subscription box where they do do previews. You can opt to skip the month if you don't like the yarn. So that is a huge benefit to this subscription box. So I know a couple of people were not very excited about this month's yarn and normally I probably wouldn't have either. But when we get to the yarn, I'm going to have some things to say. <laughs> Um, okay, so what did we get for August box? First off, we got one of these Swedish dishcloths. If you have never used these, these things are actually really awesome. I do use these in the kitchen and I use them a lot in my bathroom. I have a tiled shower stall and the textured side to these are really good at getting into the grout and into the corner when you're just trying to do like a quick scrubby scrubby cleaning, not like the you're taking a brush and a toothbrush trying to get the individual grout lines. This does help just keep the grout lines fairly clean. It also does not damage any of my vintage dishware or china teacups, things like that. So I do really, really like these and it's obviously super duper cute. This one will have to be what I use for my stamp pad cleaning downstairs or my stamps cleaning. I will keep that down here because, but you're starting to see a, a theme develop as we come through the box. The next extra item or add-on item are these car coasters. We got two and they say, don't bring the drama, be a no drama llama, which I am a huge fan of any of the cute, uh, save your drama for your llama, kind of comments. These are absolutely adorable. I'm not sure I'm going to use these in my car. I don't frequently take unlidded drinks in my car. That's one of those weird. Uh, Joe over at Joe Webb has Joe CD and I, I there's no way to make a cute comment about Carrie's hang up some weird things. So that is very much a carry hang up thing. I always have a lid on my coffee cup. I always have a lid on my water cup or I have a bottle with a twist off lid. So those will probably stay down here as coasters most likely, or I might put one at my desk or one at my, my seat on the sofa. Cause we have my husband and I have very distinct seats on the sofa. We also got a little bag tag. This knitting bag belongs to, and this is by Cat Wrinkles. The dishcloth was actually by Swede Dishcloths. There's their website right there. And they have pretty reasonable prices for what I see these going for. The only place I know that was really substantially cheaper for the Swedish dishcloths is Ikea. But once again, it's Ikea. So if you don't have one nearby. Um, so that's all of our extras. So the... Stitch marker, or not stitch marker, the bag tag is $2.25 on their website. The car coasters have a weird price range on them. So you can find them as cheap as $5 on things like Amazon, Wish, AliExpress. But the ones that have the cute, I think of them as what you find at like the Hallmark store or little gift shops and stuff. The ones that have like little cute sayings or pretty artwork or have like NFL or college teams on them. Um, all of those seem to range about $50 or $15 for a set. But like I said, you can find the car coasters for cheaper on Amazon just with general, they're plain or they might have like little rings or something like that. They do exist cheaper than $15, but the little cute ones that have like the niche market kind of things, the things you pick up for a friend because she just really loves dot, dot, dot. Those are ranging about $15 for a set. Now, I am pretty sure that these were a custom print and that's a whole nother ball game because you have to buy, you know, mass quantities, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so the Swedish dishcloth on their website 
seem to be about three for 12 to 13 dollars they do have some on sale they do have some that are a little bit more expensive but that seems to be their average price so for a single cloth we were looking at three dollars and 32 cent so really i mean all in all you're not the box isn't padded with stuff that isn't useful or isn't on theme and that's one of the things i've really enjoyed about this box is everything seems to be on theme we had fourth of july we got a beautiful blue yarn we got a rocket pop stitch marker uh the theme for june was wildflowers and we got that beautiful variegated yellow tone with the the purple and the pink and the green yarn and we got wildflower seeds and we got honey um hand sanitizer or bee hand sanitizer and stuff We've really kept with a very strict theme every single month, even though things are a little bit more fluid in what's on theme and what isn't. I have really enjoyed the theming of this box. So all in all, I have to say I am very excited about this. This month's yarn is called Sweet and Sour. And this is our hank of yarn. Now, when we saw the previews, this pink color seemed to be a little bit more dominant in the samples she was showing on the preview. But I am not at all unhappy. Mine is a little bit more on the orange side, but even in the orange, we have these beautiful speckles that are showing up. We have a lot of speckling on the other side. And a couple of weeks ago, I had mentioned one of the colorways I've really been enjoying recently are the pink and orange colors and pink, orange, yellow. They just to me scream starburst. I don't know why, but I'm really into this colorway and this is not something I would particularly like normally. This is not in my wheelhouse. I do not generally like the color orange unless we're talking about like burnt pumpkin or something. And those more rich fall tone oranges, these bright oranges are just not my cup of tea. Never have been, never will be. There's a reason why I don't pull for Clemson aside from, I never want to move back to the upstate of South Carolina again. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so I am really digging this color. It just screams juicy, summertime, fruity, uh, mine ended up with the heavy on the orange. It makes me think of ambrosia salad with the mandarin oranges and the maraschino cherries and the, depending on where you're from, marshmallow fluff or mayonnaise. I'm a marshmallow fluff person. Uh, dressing that goes on something like that. But this just, I don't know. It's, I guess to me, it's kind of like a perfect Closing to summer, you're starting to get like the fiery colors where you're doing bonfires at night and trying to, it just speaks to me for some reason. It, it feels juicy. It feels rich. The color saturation on the deepest sides of this are very, very deep. And they do look very like campfire-y to me. But then you have like these touches of pink. So it's like sunset-y juiciness. I don't know. But like I said, uh, I, you know, a couple of years ago, we got the citrus color in the knit crate and I was not a huge fan of that. I was not feeling it back then. I still have mine. I have not used it yet, but now I'm like, ooh, I really want to start working with those colors more and I'm really digging the pink and orange. So I'm oddly enough, very happy with this, even though once again, this isn't the colors I would typically gravitate towards. And it's, I got the single sock once again, but you can get single sock, double sock, single DK or double DK. So you have a lot of options for how to customize these boxes, subscription boxes, just for you and your preferences. For the purpose of review, I figured we'd keep this simple and just do the single sock skein. I have four pattern options picked upstairs and I have not decided which one I'm going to do. It is hard to not want to do another one of these because I did really enjoy this pattern and I love how it shows off the yarn so nicely, but I do want to keep some variety in there. We did do a crochet shawl for the first time. We will probably do another knit project for this one, but I, I'm just, I'm blown away with the colors. I'm blown away with the 
combination of these so far. Um, June is not something I would normally think, ooh, I'm going to fall in love with it. But the moment I saw the preview for it, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And then we, you got a more simple color with the variegated blues a month too. And I was like, oh, so pretty. That's very much me. And then August is not something I would normally gravitate towards, but recently that's been a color combination I've been really into. And here I am going, oh, I can't wait to work on it. I can't wait to work on it. And I'm just, I'm really enjoying this. This has been a lot of fun for me. So uh, after we add in the yarn, uh, on her website, uh, Hypnotic Yarns, when you go to buy a hank of yarn, 30 bucks for the yarn, my approximate value is generally 24 to 26 now on what you pay for hand dyed yarn. But like I said, we are having a problem. There is, there are sourcing issues. There's increased shipping issues. There are a lot of things going into why hand dyers are having to jump their prices again. So my actual retail value, if I were to go to these individual places and purchase these items out of pocket individually was $50.57. The approximate retail value, if I went with other vendors to purchase these items, was $34.57. So we're still ma made whole every month with my approximate value by this box. But when we actually go into the retail value of what Hypnotic sells for and what these individual small merchants are selling for, we are getting a much larger discount because, you know, Smaller businesses do actually have higher prices because it's harder to source and manufacture on a small basis. So the approximate saved was four and a half percent. However, our actual retail going into these vendors individually was 34% saved this month. So, I mean, you can consider it a slight 5% discount or you can consider it the 34% discount. But regardless, we are made whole at the end of each month. So with the option to choose whether or not to get that month's yarn. If, if this wasn't your color choice, if you're not into blue, you could have skipped those months and still maintained your membership to the subscription. I have to say, I'm once again, just not angry. I know that this isn't, you know, everybody's, everybody's cup of tea right now. And I know like the, the bright yellow with the other colors weren't necessarily everybody's cup of tea. And that's great. I think, I really enjoy the fact that a lot of these independent designers are doing such a wide variety of things. Um, we got very cool tones in one. We got very warm tones in some. We've got a nice combination going. Um, that, like I said, this is very much like when I did the Lether box review where we're dealing with a small batch dyer and we still got a good variety. We got a very olive green color. We got a blue and gray color. We had good options. And I think this box is offering the same thing. September's preview is already out. Once again, it's not something I would necessarily go out of my way to buy. But as I am going to put my knit crate on hold for six months, I am going to continue getting the Yarnable box because I'm enjoying it so much. So um, that's all I have for our unboxing today. Uh, once again, I did pay for this 100% out of pocket. I will continue paying for this box 100% out of pocket, and I'm perfectly fine with that for now. Um, I do only maintain one personal subscription box, though, so I will have to put Nick Rate on hold or cancel it for the interim. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, also, I still haven't gotten July's box, and I've already been charged for August, so... <laughs> Let them catch up before I do anything else with them. Uh, but I am very happy with Yarnable so far. I have really enjoyed the colors. I feel like we've gotten some good opportunities to do some things we might not consider doing or doing something a little bit different and out of the box and how we're thinking about it. I do feel bad that all three months I've ended up doing scarf shawl things, but my original intention had been to do like a hat or a pair of socks or a shawl, not all three months being scarf shawls, but all three boxes for me and how I want to wear them and how I want to show off the yarn and show off my project. It really has lent itself to the one ball shawl phenomena. Um, one of the patterns is more like a poncho, like I did with uh, the sock yarn we got in uh 
oh I can't remember which one that was there was another subscription box where I did a poncho and I did find a pattern that is a little bit more of like a poncho shawl or poncho scarf kind of deal like that where it's, you can wear it as an infinity scarf or wear it over your shoulders as a poncho but yes I am very happy I'm very much looking forward to getting this caked up and picking the project and actually getting started on it I want to see how this starts to work up how do my colors start to lay there there's this just beautifulness in the combination here so I can't wait I've already gotten even though I haven't even woven in the ends yet I've gotten a lot of wear out of this one already so I keep tucking the the tails and wearing the scarf Oh, and I have been wearing this as a scarf, not as a shawl, but this for a one ball project is actually large enough, not to sell you a pattern, but the lightweight one is large enough just as a little shawlette to drape over your shoulders. And once you have it blocked out, it does give you, because it is so long on the ends, you can very easily... Uh, I am not petite shoulder to shoulder. I'm a very broad build and I still have more than enough length to do an around the shoulder. I could put a shawl pin up here and go with a very different look and show off the stitch pattern. I can wear it as a scarf and show off the yarn combination. So I would say this is, if you've got just some sock yarn hanging around, definitely a pattern to consider if you really want to show off the yarn. But very happy so far. Very, very happy so far. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am going to go get my eat on. Like I said, I'm pretty hungry. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, you can reach out to me on Instagram or through email if you don't want to reach out in the comment section down below. If you've tried this box before or have thoughts or feelings on what you're seeing here on my channel with this box, please leave a comment down below. I want to see what you think as well, as well as what your experiences have been. So I love you guys. Take care and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys.